Hello guys, good morning. I'm Margaretek Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared the continuation of the question for structural conceptualization. We are now in episode 3 and I hope these questions are useful para sa board examination na take nyo. But before we start guys, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe so that uh, maging updated ka sa mga videos na may propose ko. So, let's start. 40. This is a form, sod, and tooled in a concrete structure to create a weakened plane regulate the location of cracking. A. Isolation joint. B. Compression control joint. C. Expansion joint. And D. Contraction joint. Answer B Contraction Joint Next Concrete mixture of 1 is to 2 is to 4 A Class A B Class C C Class B and D Class D Answer a. Class A. Next, the proposed condominium is located at the southwest portion of Mindanao and part of Zone 3 of Wind Loan Provision of the Philippines as per NSCP 2001. What is the basic wind speed on this area? A. 250 kph. B. 125 kph C. 200 kph and D. 100 kph Answer B. 125 kph Next, in gravity load definition, it is a vertical load due to the weight of all permanent structural and non-structural components of a building, such as wall, floors, roofs, and fixed service equipment. A. Live load B. Concentrated load C. Dead load and D. Distributed load Answer C. Dead load. Next, these are the effects on the structure due to earthquake motion acting in direction other than parallel to the direction of resistance under consideration. A. P delta effect. B. Orthogonal effect. C. Hydrostatic effect and D. Seismicity effect Answer B. Orthogonal effect Next The plot of proposed condominium is classified as terrain with building 6 meters and more in height covering 20% of the area extending 1.5 kilometers from the plot As per NSCP 1992 Wind pressure design factor, what exposure shall it be considered? A. Exposure A B. Exposure C C. Exposure B and D. Exposure D Answer C. Exposure B Next, identify image A. A. Pre-tensioning B. Reinforcing bars C. Post-tensioning and D. Steel mesh Answer 
C. Post tensioning. Next, identify the image. A. Waffle slab. B. One way slab. C. Two way slab. D. Two way flat slab. Answer? B. One way slab. Next, identify the image. A reinforcement for blank. A. Square footing. B. Drop slab. C. Pile cup. And D. Mushroom slab. Answer? C. Pile cup. Next, identify the image. A. Double bevel but groove weld. B. Single bevel but groove weld. C. Double V but groove weld. And D. Single V but groove weld. Answer? D. Single V but groove weld. Next, identify the image. Blank is used to support lower layer of mesh or rebar. A. Steel bar chair. B. Continuous high chair. C. Piano bolster. And D. Steel bolster. Answer? D. Steel bolster. Next, identify image F. A. Isolated footings. B. Joint footing. C. Rough foundation. And D. Strap footings. Answer? D. Strap footing. Next, from the image, identify figure 1. A. Crescent truss. B. Barrel vault truss. C. Bowstring truss. And D. Bow barrel truss. Answer? A. Rather C. Bowstring truss. Next, from the image, identify figure 2. A. Howe truss. B. Baltimore truss. C. Fink truss. And D. True Pratt truss. Answer? B. Baltimore truss. Next, from the image, identify figure 3. A. Howe truss. B. Baltimore truss. C. Fink truss. And D. True Pratt truss. Answer? C. Fink truss. From the image, identify figure 5. A. Howe truss. B. Baltimore truss. C. Fink truss. And D. True Pratt truss. Answer? A. Howe truss. Next, its purpose is to prevent the column main bars from buckling outward, spilling the concrete and causing early collapse. Again, 
Its purpose is to prevent the column main bars from buckling outward, spilling the concrete and causing early collapse. A. Stirrups B. Rings C. Ties and D. Lap Answer C. Ties Next, blank is a story whose strength is less than 80% of the strength of the story. A. Soft story B. Drift story C. Flat form and D. Weak story Answer D. Weak story Next, in walls and slabs, other than concrete joist construction, primarily flexual reinforcement shall not be spaced farther apart than three times wall or slab thickness nor farther than A. 375 mm B. 450 mm C. 500 mm and D. 300 mm Answer B. 450 mm Next this is a component including its attachment having fundamental period less than or equal to 0.06 second. A. Brace frame B. Rigid component C. Bearing wall system and D. Flexible component Answer B. Rigid component Okay guys, thank you very much for watching the video from uh, beginning until the end. This is a very short one. Uh, don't worry, I will prepare another one for this kind of uh, topic or another topic. Uh, just continue studying, reading notes, reading books, watching this kind of video. I'm, I'm sure this is very helpful para makapag-review kayo and makapasa sa board exam. And I wish you luck guys na you achieve the license in this coming board exam uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope na continue lang kayo sa pag-watch ng mga video na pinopost ko thank you very much, bye